Okay. So you guys gonna you don't gonna you gonna stay up there? Um, for the summers, the plan, and then winters here. Do you think any of that stuff around you and your neighbors is causing any of this stuff? Could be. I don't know. This like what she said. It started right after the sinus infection. Maybe it caused the sinus infection. Well, I know we were stacking the hay. It was a year old. It was moving from one place to another. And I was pushing the hay bale up, and I got a snoop full of hay dust and all that. It had mold and stuff on it. So. I can't even get around. <clears> hay. Yeah, you, you, you might have to wear a mask down. Some serious mask. So I do now mm -hmm. when I work out in the yard. Mm -hmm. Those things with the two big, <laughs> two big filters. <laughs> and people think I'm nuts. I look like a fighter pilot. I got a helmet on, got glasses, you know, I had a helmet, a big mask. Yeah. What's with that guy? Who is that crazy? Long sleeves. Long sleeves. Long sleeves. <clears throat> so when we talk about wheat sensitivity, most of us were, were referring to the gliadin, which is the protein part that is the antigenic or causing the immune reactions. And then it's the adaptive immunity um, that remembers, you know, what you've been exposed to. Oops. So this is, didn't get changed over. <laughs> I only got the first one changed. So disregard the rest. That's the vaccine part. Same stuff. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, this is Big Egg. Has yeah. its revolving door with the USDA. That uh, company yes. you worked in Florida, United Agri, Lake Conagra, that part of all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Glad you don't work with that anymore. Okay. Well, let me get to the studies. Non-funding of anti viral symptoms. Yeah, so this is what's not being out in the mainstream is yeah. all of these problems wheat is causing to the gastrointestinal tract, yeah. to the immunity. Yeah. Um, there's lots of studies out there, and every one of them is saying basically all wheat in mean, all people is causing the problem. So, um, uh, is that true then? It's not the wheat, it's the, what they stick in it, right? Mm -hmm. It's the GMO, it's the gluten, and the glyphosate, and all that other stuff. Well, it's even in the non GMO, the non glyphosate, regular wheat is a problem. Really? Yes, because they've hybridized it with more protein, and the protein mm -hmm. is causing problems. Okay. But, it, but wheat 100 years ago was edible. Right? Yes. Because, right. yes, the original, what wheat. they call the wild strains of wheat. Yeah is the right proportion for our gut, not what they've done to it. The stuff they grow along the Nile River, you know, like that's the good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And it was never, um, you know, if you look at that ancient diets, it wasn't in everything. You look at our diet today, people will, you know, everything from pizzas and pastas and cakes and cookies. And I mean, a person literally could have wheat in every food item and in, item that they eat mm -hmm. it wasn't like that originally you know you would maybe get a biscuit or something but you had to survive off of plants and vegetables and the meat wasn't the proportion of the flour so to speak was so small compared to 80 percent that you would see now well i guess i look at the mexicans around it because i mean they used to be beautiful people i don't know what's happened to them um just have gotten bigger and bigger, yeah. and they, they don't even have a neck anymore. It's getting huge. Yeah. You know? Well, you look at the corn-based diet. Based diet, they have everything in tortillas and enchiladas. And and corn and, uh, basically yeah. processes down to just sugar. So yeah. you have this rampant epidemic of diabetes going on. And it's full of toxins. Mm -hmm. Corn, I mean, it's, it's one of the worst things of all. You probably even worse than wheat. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Well, and this was kind of an interesting finding, is that they find that just taking people off of wheat isn't the answer. And when you don't teach them about nutrition, because, um, and what happens usually, they die of a heart attack, you know, and, and it comes down to the gut because, you know, the wheat <coughs> has probiotics in it. Um, they're not the healthiest <coughs> of ones, but at least it's something. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when you, you have a dysbiotic gut, when you eat red meat. I got, I got some. That's all I want. Okay. <laughs> When you eat red meat and fish and you have a bad gut, it promotes toxic conversions that give you a heart attack. So, yeah, <laughs> so yeah those 
poor folks. <clears throat> and even when they try to go on a wheat gluten-free diet, restaurants that specialize in it, they go in and test these places, they still have 20 to 30 percent of gluten and wheat. So these people are, you know, still reacting. So um, so you can take enzymes that will break down that gluten and gliadin. So, you know, for those people that can't have any and they can't eat out and um, they still need to for work or whatever, you know, you can do those enzymes. The wheat rescue is the product we came out for that. Um, By mega people? The mega, mega wheat? Mega microbiome labs. It's called the wheat, wheat, wheat rescue. rescue. So it has the enzymes and it has some spores in it. I got two other things, but I'm going to take two of them. I'm going to do I mean, wheat pasta. Mm -hmm. right? I'll look into that. And this is <clears> just, <throat> you know, again, these individuals that have wheat reactions, there's a bunch of drugs out there what? that pharma's. Wife, uh, wife vaccine, that's an antibiotic used. Is that an antibiotic? Mm -hmm. You see a lot of people on Facebook talking about that stuff. Yeah. I kept my mouth shut. I got tired of talking, mm -hmm. talking about that stuff. Well, if you say something about, well, have you tried this or have you tried that? You know, not necessarily trying to shove it down their throat or just making suggestions. Mm -hmm. You immediately get attacked. Yeah. 